It's me again, Filipina Larford Channel. And so we are going to do a try and haul again. Um, tell me what do you think and what do you don't like? Uh, you don't like about it. And while I'm doing that, maybe I will just tell out my story. And um, please like and subscribe. Let's go. Hi everyone. Na imbag nga rabi iyo or good evening. I'm Janeline Onchano from. Ilocosur. I'm 21 years old. I'm a half African and half Filipina. Um, I raised by a single mom and uh, I'm very proud of it because mom do everything for me and I will not forget that. Supposed to be I'm graduating this year or this month but I stopped because um, I can see mom is uh, Working so hard just to afford what I always dream to go in the medical field. Um, and then I go here in Dumaguete. I come here in Dumaguete to um, find, find my happiness. Because I just had something happen to me in my life that I cannot tell any uh, other people. I cannot say it in public, but um, I'm surviving for I'm sur I survived, so I'm here, and um, that's what the doctor say. I just need a uh, other place to heal. Um, I'm from a f uh, my mom family is kind of. Uh, weird because um they are always fighting like that even when i was a kid um uh, how what is my life here in philippines to be honest with you my life here in philippines it's kind of hard especially if you're a black girl because you have to fight all the bullies um, even sometimes, um, even before, my stepbrother always, um, they don't like me because of my color, because uh, um, like, um, I'm, I'm their step-sister uh, and they cannot accept that because um, they just want the, to, uh, their mom to focus with them. But the thing is, mom fall in love with my father, so they have me. And maybe it's hard to accept it for them. But um, I tried my best to to let them accept me as uh, me, as their sister. Um, I was in a uh, high school the time when they finally accept me it's kind of hard but i tried my best i i always uh, say hi to them every day even they don't answer me i always tell them that um hey brother um how are you it's like that but I think everyone don't accept me before because even to school, even teacher don't like me before because of my color. Yeah. Yeah. They Those will accept you Those if you have a sure. lot of money before. Um, I don't know now. But I think they are still doing that. But um, they think here in the Philippines it's not easy. Someone bullied me many times. There's a lot of people. Um, there's a lot of cool. Um, my botch, um, bullied me. Every time I go to school, they bullied me. Then there was a time that, um, I go to school. Then they bullied me. Then, 
um like um sometimes they hurt me not just uh shouting at me as oh you're a blocker like this like that you're like this and they uh they tell something like oh you're like this you're like that but i did not uh, listen to that i just do what i can do um um i do um at least i i do um basketball three on three or five on five and then volleyball um and then i do pageant um i think every year they they always uh, tell me that join pageant um even to um what they call the um barangay or town uh, i do pageant just to show the to the people that um this is me please accept me um i did not do anything to you i did not do anything to hurt you hurt you hurt the people um but um we cannot uh i know many um like me experience bully so there's a little girl one time moms want me to attend her birthday i did not know that there's a little girl like me and then i attend and she said um the mom said oh um when uh, my baby grow up please tell her about your experience and to fight the bullies and to tell her about your experience and tell her that don't listen to that because you 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 survive to it then there is a other uh, like me in uh, the other town in my um in Ilocos or also um they always ha- um bullied them then in my school i'm just the only one so they did not go to my school before but then um I make the school proud of me like this proud of the um black girls like me um bro- um black boys like me I want them to um not uh, not to bully them because they are they don't do anything to our, uh, to other people they did not um uh, it's not our fault that our mother fall in love with the uh, african or black american it's uh, it's just love so um then the two um kids um come to the school that i go with and they did not get bully because what did i do to that school they are proud of me they know me all the teachers know me there and um they are also um telling them that join the pageant because this is this is what um jen do before Bef- now she don't get a lot of uh, bully so even teacher is uh, encouraging them to fight the bull being black it's not easy here in the philippines because you know here in the philippines um they are already um um using whitening lotion everything is for whitening so um they don't like uh, dark skin like that if uh, you have a dark skin you will they will say that you're ugly they don't like dark skin so but some of the i don't i don't tell everyone but uh, maybe um 
1% of the people is um, the lowest 1% of the people like your color but just have a little bit of time to tell my story but if you have uh, another question i can answer it to my next video if you want me to continue my story just comment in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me what do you think about the bikini i'm showing off and what you don't like about it if you would like to contribute to my channel you can send it to my paypal account